While American abstract expressionist Jackson Pollock believed in isolating his art from his politics, he was, in fact, an ardent socialist, and would therefore likely have been quite surprised to discover that he owed at least part of his later commercial success to clandestine funding from the CIA. Other artists, such as Mark Rothko, also benefited from this program. The soft power operation was intended to project an image to the unaligned world of greater freedom of expression in the West, as opposed to the cultural oppression reflected by the rigid nature of Soviet art. The existence of this operation begs a question. What other expressive artists, filmmakers, writers, and musicians unknowingly benefited from CIA funding during this period? Leave your thoughts in the comments below.